Hello, family and friends. I want to welcome you to More From More. This is the opportunity that I have an opportunity to speak with you directly and to keep you updated about those things concerning our ministry. What I want you to know is that it is our intentions to continue to bring unto you preaching and teaching live from our location. And I want you to be intentional about joining me on Wednesdays as we begin with our 6 a.m. prayer from 6 a.m. to 6.15, our noonday Bible study at 12 noon, and then our fresh wind, fresh fire. That fresh wind, fresh fire is at 7.30 on Wednesday nights. I want you to stay tuned to our Sunday live worship experience as we continue to go live on Sundays I do want you to know that our young people are just as engaged as we are with Blast Zone. Pastor May is literally leading our young people. And I want you to make sure that during this time that you will have every one of your youth, every one of your children plugged in to our Blast Zone. Because here's what we are intentionally doing, you all. We are making disciples. Even while we are being quarantined and home, our goal, our aim is to make disciples. And so I wanna challenge you to make sure that you are a part of that. Now listen, as a result of what our governor, our honorable governor, Larry Hogan has given unto us with the stay at home orders, it is our intention to make sure that we do everything possible to encourage our members to stay home. I've also extended this to our staff that during the course of the week that our offices would not be open. And so I'm asking you to be certain that in the event of a crisis or a need, that you would reach out to your Circle of Lights leader, which is our small groups ministries. Reach out to our Circle of Light leaders and make sure that you are speaking to them directly who will then get you in contact with staff with our diaconate or council of elders, if not pastor, um, to make sure that we speak to the need. You in fact can leave a message on our voicemail. You can email us, or you can in fact, um, again, contact your Circle of Lights leader. Those are three ways that you'll be able to get in contact with us. We are checking our messages on a daily basis to make sure that we're meeting the needs of those of you who are members of our congregation. Now, I do want you all to know that in light of what's happening, we wanna be in prayer for all of those persons who are on our healing list. Um, I add to the list Mariah Glover, the daughter of Marlon and Tiffany Glover. We believe in God as they're waiting even now to discover where they are with their daughter's health. I want to pray for Sister Constance Mobley in the transition of her cousin. I want to pray for all of those persons who have contracted um, COVID-19 virus, persons who are caregivers for people who in fact are infected and impacted by the virus. I want to pray for all of the persons who are on the front lines, every one of them. And so I need you all to keep those persons listed. Brother Walter Luck, Sister Mary Davis, Sister um, Kimberly Davis. We keep praying for all of those persons on our healing list, believing. Even those families who are grieving, we're believing that God is healing you even now. I want to encourage our leadership to know, hey, we've got a leadership meeting coming forward on this coming Tuesday at 7 p.m. on Zoom. I want you to get ready now to tune in and be a part of that. Hey, listen, you all. In closing, I wanted to be able to just say to you that I know that you all are tired. I know you're weary. I know we've just come out of 21 days of fasting. We have literally been pressing toward the mark. And I know that in some households, tensions are high. Children are restless. But here's what I know more importantly than anything. I know this, you all. I know that God is still in charge. I know that the sun is gonna shine again. 
I also know that it's not as long as it has been, that we're sailing through and God's gonna continue to take us through to the other side. I want you to know that God's in charge. I am so proud of the way that our membership has been conducting themselves in reaching out to each other. I'm just blown away by the benevolence that has come forth in helping people in the community. Persons are making masks to give to individuals. People are making deliveries. Um, we have volunteers who in fact are doing things to help us minister to the needs of individuals. I just wanna say thank you to the staff who's worked so hard to keep us connected. Without them, I wouldn't be able to do this. And I need you to know how much Pastor loves and appreciates you. I want you to continue to make God proud, continue to make Lady Cynthia and I proud, because we know that you are the evidence of the work that we've poured into. And so if you keep shining that light, God's gonna get glory. Listen, I know it seems like it's been a long time since we've been together, but it's not as long as it has been. I tell you, it's, it's the time is winding up. God's bringing us back. And we're gonna come back stronger. So I want you to, on your mark, I want you to get set and let's continue to grow. Hey, God bless you. Know I love you. And even God loves you more than me. God bless you.